Hello my superb babies. I'm starting my day with tasting the Kit Kat in strawberry flavor. Let's see how it is. Mmm, smells nice. Oh my god, this is really delicious. I love this. Now let's try the green tea one. It looks like this. Mmm. Mmm. Very fishy. Mm. Totally different in taste. Nothing like I found it a little bit like seaweed. Green tea only, I think leafy, yeah. Now next one is I think chocolate. Oh. Oh, yeah. This one. Okay, chocolate. Bitter chocolate. Eh? So today we are not planning to Uh, we are not hungry because we ate the Kit Kat. I think appetite died. So now we are on the way to Kyoto. Uh, we purchased the ticket for 560 yen from Shin Osaka to Kyoto, and there we will see what to do. Our train is coming. So we uh, took a bus from the Kyoto station uh, to uh, bus number 5 but I mean bus stop number 5 and then we got down at Nanzenzi uh, it's quite a long distance like at least half an hour uh, we didn't know and the driver also didn't know English it was so difficult finally some public helped us because uh, we are going to Nanzenzi I can't know then we realized that Nansenzi also there is a temple so we'll go to Nansenzi temple first and then the other side is Aikando we'll visit both because anyways we are in the same locality this is Kyoto, proper Kyoto and it looks so clean and so beautiful it's freaking cold I think it must be like 7, 8 very very cold ooh la la Nanzanzi Temple, whose spacious grounds are located at the base of Kyoto's forested Higashiyama Mountains, is one of the most important Zen temples in all of Japan. It is the head temple of one of the schools within the Rinzai sect of Japanese Zen Buddhism and includes multiple sub-temples that make the already large complex of temple buildings even larger. The best view of autumn is in these temples so that's why we are visiting quite a number of temples today and Nanzenzi is one of them. The history of Nanzenzi dates back to the mid 13th century. As soon as we enter there is a gate on the right which is to the garden. Actually hardly anyone was going there but we went there. And it's totally worth going there because it's really really beautiful especially for photography it's a very beautiful place and even the nature at its best it's really worth going out here but of course there is a fees uh, for the entry I guess it was 500 N for per person this place isn't crowded and it feels so good Otherwise, every tourist found super crowded. Like 
Nansensi Central Temple grounds are open to the public free of charge, but separate fee supplies for entering temple buildings and sub temples. Visitors will first come across Nansensi massive Samon entrance gate, which extends over the treetops. Babies, this place was so mesmerizing the fall, the leaves, and the colors. It was really something like wow, breathtaking, really, really beautiful. It is actually very easy to get here. The bus from Kyoto station stops at Nanzenzi's bus stop, and it's like a 10 minutes walk from the bus stop. Babies, this video is going to be long because I'm going to show you a lot of the beauty in detail. I'm not skipping any uh, clips as such because. It's totally worth showing it. That's why I'm showing. Something made of rice and bean paste. Mm. Really tasty. Do you want this or eat this? Hmm? It has an essence like smell yummy. Rosemary, yeah? Mmm, I really like this. For some snacks with seaweed. Yeah. Mm. Seaweed and something crunchy. Whatever is tasty. This is before the gate to the entry. So hungry, like we haven't had a breakfast and lunch. So we are really hungry. Opening some other snack. That's it. No, it will have to be open. Open to your mouth. Cutting only. Really, really hungry. This is how it looks. What is this? Some peanuts is there, no? Hmm. 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 I'm feeling it inside. Peanuts. So I won't eat much of this. That's one. Now we got done with. Uh, we are going now to Aikendo Temple, which is like a 15 minutes walk from the other temple. Uh, it's freaking cold and lots to walk. Aikendo, formerly known as Senzrinzi Temple, belongs to the Jodo sect of Japanese Buddhism. Located just north of the large temple complex of Nanzenzi. Aikendo is very famous for its autumn colors and the evening illuminations that takes place in fall. But we didn't wait for the illumination out here. We went to Kodaji uh, temple for the illumination which you'll see very soon. The temple has a long history and there are a variety of buildings and a pond garden that visitors can explore. Getting here is quite easy again. It's the same bus which we came for Nanzenzi. It's the bus from uh, the Kyoto station. We took the bus from 5 number and we got down at Nanzenzi. And to the left direction showed Nanzenzi temple and to the right was Aikando. So it's just a 15 to 20 minutes walk from the bus stop. So we have to remove our shoes before we enter and they give a plastic cover and we keep it I've heard and read that the night illumination here is really beautiful. Unfortunately, we didn't have the time to wait for it. But yes, if you have the time, wait for it. This temple is also near the southern end of the philosopher's path.
Aikendo's most recognizable building, however, is the Tahoto Pagoda, which is nestled in the trees on the hillside above the temple's other buildings. Tahoto style pagoda are two story structures whose first stories are square and the second stories are round. Visitors can walk up to the pagoda from where the rest of the temple grounds and the city of Kyoto can be seen. The view from the pagoda is particularly attractive in autumn when the maple trees of the temple grounds are changing colors and it is mesmerizing. Babies, if you haven't seen my previous Japan vlogs, check the link in the description box. I'll put the playlist out there. There's a lot to see out there also. I wish you see it and leave a comment below and let me know how you find it. Because it's so difficult actually to vlog but I want to show this to my babies. This is really beautiful. Inside the temple, we cannot uh, photograph at certain places, and those places are really, really beautiful. It's like in gold, and it just illuminates, radiates like awesome. We are so hungry. We are taking rice, dumplings, in sweet soy sauce. Let's see. Listen, listen. Let's try it. Would you like some? Hey, mom. You know, we get supper, Now after this we were planning for Kodaiji temple for the night illumination uh, but on the way we actually got lost a couple of times and finally we reached the destination Guys, we reach the Kodaji temple and you won't believe we got lost and I think finally we are reaching I hope so Babies, the whole world is here. Looks like that. It is so crowded, and I don't know how people were just at not knowing this place. It is so famous, and it's more crowded than the bamboo uh, grove. Very crowded. I'm very tired. During the peak of the autumn season, Kyoto opens up some of its temples and gardens to night illumination. It also happens in the spring. If you didn't know what this night illumination is, it is special lights made to hit on the maple leaves so that we see the amazing colors even in the night. It has a solid special feeling. It looks very unique and it looks really beautiful. 
Kodachi is an outstanding temple in Kyoto's Higashiyama district. They had this special lighting show. Oh my god, it was so good. I recorded the whole of it. We had to climb, climb, climb and as soon as we reached on top, we got to see the Kyoto Tower. It was so clear. It was the best feeling ever. The view was really mesmerizing. So babies now finally we are going to eat proper food whole day, we didn't get a chance to eat and there's not proper food, there's McDonald's again and this is a beef burger, let's see. Mm. It's actually better than the chicken one. So now we are coming down to eat a proper meal, like proper dinner. We have ordered for a shrimp tempura with uh, uh, different types of uh, vegetables and uh, fried potato and fried chicken, all Japanese style. So let's see. This place is quite nice and we are actually very very hungry. Yeah. So just come back and now I'm going to shut the vlog. Very very tired. Bye bye.